Ian, so exciting. And of course, a quiet here now as the sun is going down a protective stadium this evening. But a lot of people walking around are just so excited. They had sound checks. The Jumbotron was uh, working on their graphics, even little things, details you might think of, not think about uh, with things like toilet paper and, and utensils for the concession stands they had to put in place for this week. But they are ready for the big day tomorrow. The stadium behind me is just absolutely beautiful and comes to life if you come inside of here and check it out for the first time. It's really been a dream for the city and especially for people like UAB Blazers head coach Bill Clark. I spoke to him this week. He gave me some of his time and explained that it has not been an easy road at all to get to this point. It's kind of like a movie, some may say. A great view just steps away from Coach Bill Clark's office, overlooking practice at the Football Operations Building, and an incredible new vision born from a dream. It was not just our dream as UAB football, it was our city's dream. And Coming alive in the matter of hours. I know it's hard to feel it right now, but walking out on that field on Saturday, what do you think will be going through your head? For the first oh my time? gosh, now I think to see just our whole city embrace where we are where the Blazers are physically in this new $200 million home in the heart of downtown and beyond the sparkle, where they are as a team. Years now since the revival of a program that was left to die. At that point, back in 2014, did you ever have thoughts of leaving? You know, I think that obviously, you know, I was going to have to go find a job. I mean, yeah. my program was shut down. But killing UAB football sparked outrage in the community and ultimately rallied support. Many telling Coach Clark, we'll fight if you stay. How did you remain optimistic or have hope in really tough times or the hardest days? The tougher it is, you know, you want to dig in and you want to fight. And I think that was kind of um, what I saw here. There was a need. Players returned to the field and to a new facility in 2017 and went from losing money and losing seasons. You know, we came in that first year and they picked us 130th out of 130. So, uh, you know, we had a, nowhere to go but up. To the rebirth of the Blazers winning two conference USA championships and the first in league history to win three consecutive division titles. And the newest feat, a move from UAB's old home, Legion Field, the nearly century-aged Old Grey Lady, to Protective Stadium. One of the greatest college football comeback stories in recent history. A future movie plot, some may say. It was a dream, and really to kind of, you know, see all this to come to fruition, you know, it's... I don't really use the word surreal, but I guess yeah. that would be the word for it. It's, it's going to be a great movie. I'm just so happy for him, for the whole team, for the city. I want to thank him for my cool hat that he gave me. And I can't wait to support the Blazers this season. A ton of people will be filling this stadium here tomorrow. Thousands of people. And he says his team really works off the energy. So he's really looking forward to that. Also in the area, businesses looking forward to more foot traffic in the area around Protective Stadium. A lot of people are here expected, of course, restaurants, businesses, Top Golf. Watch Protective Stadium grow from a parking lot to what it is today. Now staff is ready to reap the rewards from the new stadium and what it creates for business. The director of operations, Mark Greenier, says that they are really looking forward to this weekend. And, uh, we're excited for this weekend and uh, look forward to having uh, a bunch of new faces come, come check us out for sure. And if you are wondering too about the parking situation at Top Golf on game days, it's going to cost you $25 if you'd like to park. It's right across the street though. Um, if you're attending the game, but you will get your money back if you decide to maybe stick around for a little while and play some golf.